What's going on everyone? Thank you all so much for coming back and watching my videos. It's about 7 o'clock in the morning. Your boy just went to Dunkin Donuts to try something for the very first time. I haven't tried it yet because I want to do like a live taste review. So usually what I've been doing recently, instead of drinking a monster, I've been trying to drink coffee. I've been drinking black coffee, but it's been way too hot. So I've been waiting for it to cool down. But right now I was like, I'm going to go in there, get a black coffee and ask for two ice cubes in there or something like that to kind of cool it down. But then the guy was like, hot or cold? I was like, Cold. So then they gave me this right here. It's like an iced coffee. Hopefully it's good. It's not that bad. It could be worse. It'll grow on me. So I just got out of work right now and I finished training someone. His name is Jeremy. This guy is a savage. He puts in so much work and I love training this guy. My favorite part about training people is that, you know, you always see people progress and it's awesome that even though they don't see it all the time, like you can see the progress that they made. So right now I'm actually on my way to go vote. I have to do my civil duty and go vote because my mom is like actually really upset about it. She's like, why did you go vote? Why did you go vote? And I'm like, ah, I just didn't have enough time. She's like, well tomorrow after work you have about an hour, why don't you go vote? And I'm like, all right, I'll go vote. Now I think I have like an hour until everyone's gonna come to the gym and the whole team's gonna be there. The vibes are gonna be unreal. Guess what I just did? I voted for the first time. White bread with some peanut butter. So I kind of wanted to talk to you all about kind of what I've been doing this whole entire week. Just because this whole entire week was a deload week. I'm going to show you clips that I record during the week because it would be kind of boring to make a video based on my deload week because none of my viewers, I'm guessing, would really want to see me deload during the week. So I'm going to play the clips over this audio. It's a little bit loud in here because of the music, but I'm going to try to briefly go over everything that I've been doing. All right, so for the first day, what we did was low bar squats, two sets of three at only 70%, which is 250 pounds. Um, after that, all I did was touch and go bench, two sets of three, 72% at 165 pounds. That day was a little bit iffy, um, and I was kind of feeling weird that day, but I was able to get a quick workout in. Um, it only took like 15 minutes. Uh, the second day, we did some Olympic work, did some clean and jerk, six sets of one and some snatches. I actually wasn't able to get the snatches in, but I was able to practice my clean and jerks and then we did some running. Um, then the next day, it was a rest day, and then after that, we did low bar squats, two sets of three at seven. I was able to work up to 300 pounds, which isn't too much, but I was working up to a heavier amount of weight just so I wanted to get my body used to that. And then after that, we did some atlas stones. I didn't get video footage of that because I didn't really want to record me just picking up a rock and throwing it on the ground. And then I did some rowing, and that was basically my week of working out. Today, after the deload week, we're going to be working up to one rep on all three lifts squat, bench, and deadlift at RPE 9, so hopefully we're going to hit some PRs. If not, it's depending on how I feel today. I'm feeling nothing different today, so hopefully it goes well. RPE 9.5 today, and then after that, that's basically all we're going to be doing today. So uh, Marvin right here is kind of stretching out, I'm stretching out, and the vibes in here are pretty awesome. I'm excited for today. It's going to be a great workout. Let's get after it. You went to Brian? So real school! Yeah!
So it's safe to say today's workout is going great. So now that we squatted, we bench pressed. I got a, I think it's a 12 pound PR, 13 pound PR. 13 pound PR on squat, 10 pound PR on bench press, and now we are moving on to deadlifts, which is a little bit hard for me. What is going on you guys? Thank you all so much for staying to the very end of this video. And the reason you probably clicked this video is because of the title, which is basically, I made some awesome PRs and I also wanted to talk about what the best way to lose weight is and what worked best for me. Um, so today's workout went unreal. I can't believe I squatted 385 pounds, French pressed 245 and deadlifted 405. And for me, that's an awesome goal. That's something that I've always wanted to do for such a long time. And I'm finally over 1,000 pounds and I did it clean. Um, so by the title of the video, you're probably wondering when I'm gonna start talking about what the best way to lose weight is and that's gonna be now. So what worked best for me, and this is something that is gonna change for everyone. Everyone who loses weight, it's gonna be completely different. And this is something that I've experienced with myself and this is something that I would recommend for all my clients and people that are looking to lose weight. Now, the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna make sure you get a plan. You can't go into something just expecting for something else to happen like that. You wanna attack the goal so, so specifically and do something well-structured rather than go in and just guessing what to do next because there's so many ways that you're gonna set yourself up for failure if you think it's just gonna to come to you just like that. So you wanna make sure you have a plan and following the plan, you also wanna find a way to second, hold yourself accountable or find a coach. So if you're able to hold yourself accountable, you're able to make sure that other people are aware that you're trying to do something. So one, if you're doing this, then people are gonna make sure that they're able to support you when they can. And then they're also gonna make sure that you're staying to your goal. So it's kind of annoying sometimes, but having those people to make sure that you're, you know, sticking to what you said, it's really gonna push you to become a better person because if you're just, you know, holding it to yourself, then who knows if you're really trying to lose weight. It might influence you to actually eat out more or do stuff that'll make you prevent your weight loss journey. So make sure you have either a coach, a personal trainer, someone who's gonna motivate you to lose more weight um, to actually hold you accountable for what you're doing. So that's why I like posting on social media is because when I first started losing weight, I was able to show others that I was on a weight loss journey and people can you know see that I was trying to do something to live a healthier lifestyle. So in the end, if you're posting on social media, if you have someone that's watching over you, then you'll make sure that you know um, you're not gonna get off track and you're able to stick to what you said. So that's my second big tip on how to lose weight. So my third and final tip, something that I highly recommend to anyone and everyone that's gonna be losing weight is calorie restriction and strength training. If you're gonna be intaking less energy than you expend, or you're gonna be spending more energy than you intake, then you're gonna be in a caloric deficit. So that's basically, you know, one of the most simple and common things that's said for anyone who wants to be losing weight. You want to be in a caloric deficit. So what you can do to be in a caloric deficit is strength training. When you strength train, you're going to be using a lot of muscle groups, especially if you're going to be doing compound movements like the bench squat and deadlift. Those are going to be movements that are require a lot of muscle groups and that's going to expend a lot of energy. You're going to be exhausted by the end, but there's also many other ways that you can expend more energy, which is, you know, including cardio. And when I was losing weight, what worked best for me was doing high intensity interval training. So my camera just died, so sorry about that. So what I was just going over is high intensity interval training. That just means doing short, you know, bursts of activities that require high intensity. And then after that, taking a short amount of rest. So what that's going to do, it's going to burn a lot of calories in a short amount of time and that's something that you know I would also recommend is making sure that you do it efficiently make sure you're not spending so much time at the gym because after that you're gonna get demotivated you're not gonna want to go to the gym so make sure that you're in a caloric deficit and also you're including some sort of strength training so don't only focus on cardio but also make sure you're lifting weights and doing something besides cardio to one make it more fun and two try to include more muscle groups so you can burn more calories throughout a workout so those are some three tips that worked for me during my weight loss journey of 125 pounds. I hope it works awesome for you. If you guys have any questions about weight loss, please comment down below because I love talking about weight loss. And if anyone has any questions or an experience that they want to share or any tips they want to share, comment down below. So thank you all so much for watching. 
Hope you guys like this video. Please comment, share, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to thumbs up the video, and don't forget to stay healthy, everyone. Eric Mandeville, I'm commanding all them motherfuckers out there to watch your shit. Yeah, I'm here with Eric Mandeville, the man, the motherfucker himself. <laughs>